What's up, peeps? Julian Williams here with The Distance. Got a video for you guys this evening. This one is going to be a prediction for the upcoming bout between Chris Ariola and Bermain Stavern. Bout takes place on the 27th of April, which is next week, on the undercard of... Is it an undercard or is it going Wait, let me think here. I don't know. But it's going to be on the same card as Sergio Martinez versus Martin Murray. So, overall, this is actually going to be an interesting fight. I believe it's a WBC heavyweight title eliminator. Um, against, you know, two, you know, qual. I guess you could say in the heavyweight division, quality contenders. Um, you know, both of, you know, this one, I don't know. It can be guaranteed a knockout. You know, both fighters come in, they both look for the knockout. They have decent knockout ratios. Um, Chris Ariola, I know, hasn't been in the ring for about a year now, ever since he fought Eric Molina. Um, so, and then Stavern, I haven't really looked at, you know, his, see when his last fight was. But, no, I remember he did put himself into, like, a mandatory status. Either it was mandatory status or he did move up in rankings when he knocked out Ray Austin, like, nearly two years ago on that. Devin Alexander Lucas Matisse undercard, but just overall, you know, you have two powerful heavyweights, you know, facing each other, and you know, one punch can change the outcome of the fight. So beginning with Chris Ariola, of course, we all know Chris Ariola is a puncher. He has the ability to end the fight in any round with almost any shot, mainly with the right hand. Chris Ariola in this fight has to swarm. Has to swarm Stavern early in this fight because Stavern, um, Stavern doesn't really throw too many combinations right off the bat. He likes to kind of set his shots up, you know, using his jab. You know, he he throws a very stiff jab, you know, at the center of the ring. So what I would do is I would actually, if I was Chris Ariola, I would go in and throw a volume, and um, you know, pretty much just bring the fight to him. Um. And step, in, you know, and step in front of them, step around them, and things of that nature. I wouldn't necessarily square up with them. I wouldn't. Well, there's parts of the ring I wouldn't square up with Stavern. I definitely would not square up in the center of the ring because Stavern likes to dictate the pace, and then you know you give him room to to throw his right hand, which is deadly if it lands on your temple. <laughs> but but just overall, I would actually continue to just. To 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 just um keep making a physical fight and just continuously push Stavern, you know, push him around the ring, push him to the side, um, you know, hit him on the shoulders, hit him wherever he can, and also look to land that right hand on the inside. Um, continue, you know, keep making a fast paced fight and and actually I would look for the for the knockout maybe early. I would look for it early, um, and also you know occasionally you know hit him to the body, hit him. You know, just hit him on the elbow if he has to. I, like I said, in this fight, I would activity is the key for Chris Ariola in this one. And also, you know, since he kind of he can carry that that um left hand low because he's trying to to crank out that right hand, I would you know step in, faint with the jab, hit him with that right square on the chin. It's gonna and it will land clean. On the other hand, you have Bermain Stavern. He throws a very stiff jab. Um, you could tell when he's when he places his lead foot, he's looking to land his right hand because he's always trying to he's always trying to get that lead foot on the inside, and he's always you know kind of placing it and stepping down on the inside, stepping inside your lead foot so that you know the overhand right lands. A lot of time it lands on the temple, and then if you catch that equilibrium shot, that could be all she wrote, you know. But in this fight against Ariola. Ariola hasn't been in the ring in, in a year since the Eric Molina fight. And also in that fight, you know, Molina kind of popped him. He popped him with that right hand and kind and hurt him a little bit in that fight. In this fight, I would look to land the right hand on Ariola walking in. Of course, you know, there's gonna there are countless opportunities for that right hand to land for him. Ariola's gonna walk in head first. He needs to throw that jab between the guard. And um, uses uses as as a punch finder, or range finder, excuse me, uses a range finder and pop him with the right hand as he walks in, and step step around continuously, and just continuously just hit him with the right hand over and over again, 
is continuously stepping around him, which will make Areola have to position his body again. He'll have to position his body again, and then what's going to happen, he's going to get hit again with another right hand. So me, I would, that's what I would do. And also, Severn does th- can throw, you know, some, some deadly shots to the body. He can throw some some hard shots to the body that look like they look like they hurt. He has to go to to the body very early in this one. He has to go to the body early, you know. Mark him. I mean, hit him down, make his mark, hitting him with the left hook, um, right on the body. And also, that's gonna that's gonna op- that can open up his right hand in the mid to later rounds if he hits him to the body and you know has a decent body attack early because he can land very stiff shots to the body. And and also when he steps around, throw the jab, catch him with the right to the body, throw the left hook to the body. You know, hit him, you know, use the old school tactics like the Sugar Ray Robinson tactics. Um, hit him on the hip. You know, you can you can only get away with that so much in a fight. You can't really just do it all the time. But I would hit him, you know, right on the hip. That's gonna that's gonna affect his mobility, as dirty as that sounds. So with all that being said, who, I, who do I think is going to win this fight? So this one is difficult to, to judge for me because both of them have the ability, like I said, to change the fight with one punch. One punch changes the whole, can change the whole fight in this one. Both of them can knock each other out. Both of them can hurt each other. Both of them have the ability to, to, to control the fight. Now, on the other hand, to be honest with you, earlier today I was like, you know what? I'm confident that Chris Ariola will win this fight. And I'm still somewhat feeling that way. But watching Stavern fights, seeing you know, seeing how he throws his right hand, a punch that Ariola can walk into at almost any time, he's gonna have to hit him with that shot. He's gonna have to hit him with that with that right hand shot, and he's gonna have to continuously hit him with it, and not admire his work. But at the same time, I like to go with the acti- with the fight that's gonna be active. Ariel is gonna be active. You know, both of them have good amateur pedigrees. Um, both of them know how to. Comp- I mean, both of them know how to fight. They both come forward. They both don't take. They both don't never take back steps. Ariel is gonna be there to be hit. Stavern's going to be there to be hit. I like to go with the guy that's going to move his hands. Ariola's going to move his hands in this fight. So I'm going with Chris Ariola in this fight. And I think Ariola will probably win this fight on a, I would say, on a decision. Both of them are tough guys. I think the only way Ariola would knock him out, though, is if he either catches him with, just surprisingly c- catches him with the right hand, or... Or if um, Stavern just you know punches himself out, and then Ariel just comes in and just seizes that opportunity, but I would, I would lean towards a decision or a late knockout. Um, but like I said, both guys could win. <laughs> you know, I'm not really p- pussing out, but I, I just personally think that Ariel should win this one somehow, some way. I, like I said, I'll go with the. Mm, I've said two different things. I'll go with a late knockout. Same way, peeps. That was distance. Thanks for watching. Peace.